Ende zu. <lacht> again with a new video I have been slacking please don't judge me I said one video every day in December and I missed like three days please be patient I'm gonna pump out three or however many I'm behind I'm gonna count and I'm gonna knock them all out within like a day or two so I will catch up and we will be on a roll. I have a couple that I'm planning as we speak, but today I wanted to do a late video because I've had my iPad for a little while now, a month or so, I guess. I got the new um, 10.2 inch iPad that Apple released this year. I had previously the older or the very original iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch. And it was nice. I mean, it was definitely a powerhouse for sure. But I wanted something smaller and just more compact because I already have my MacBook and I just didn't really need an iPad Pro any longer because I actually got it as my primary means of a computer before I got my MacBook Pro this year. So I wanted to do just a review of the iPad and uh, just to let y'all know what I think so far. I have an unboxing right before this, so you should have seen that. I'll give you a little ASMR where you can hear all of the uh, unboxing and whatnot. But let's let's get started. Let's just jump right in. So the iPad is the perfect size. I know not everyone is going to agree. Maybe some people like a larger one or a smaller one, but I already have my iPhone, which is the 11 Pro Max. It's large. It's a good size as far as a phone. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was a little bigger, but it's fine. But this is literally the perfect size. I have two cases. This is just a basic clear case with a red border. Red's my favorite color. So I did get that. And I did go ahead and just download a lot of the applications that I use on a regular basis. I have the basic background. I haven't really changed any of that. I will say that I really, really enjoy about it is the size which I've already said right it's perfect for my hands I have little childlike hands so this fits perfectly and I'm gonna tell you another reason that I like it but do not I repeat do not judge me it is perfect for playing Fortnite I know right I know it's ridiculous to have an iPad and my first thing is I think of is Fortnite but I'm honest, so I know you can appreciate that, right? But it is. It really is. Your buttons are at the bottom, and you're able to control and move and change your weapons. Anyways, it's super convenient for that. I will say a feature. There are two different features that I'm really digging uh, so far. I'm just playing around with it. One is going to be, you see here how the widgets are actually on the page, with your applications versus having to slide over to a new page to get them. This is perfect. Like the widgets are in a perfect position now versus having to move pages, which I didn't like at all. That's just one extra movement, which sounds so lazy. First world problems. I know. I'm so sorry, but it's again, the truth. So it's super convenient to have that. The other feature that I really, really like about it, not only it's computing power because it's super quick. I would even dare to say that it is 
as fast, if not maybe even a little bit faster than my original iPad Pro. And that bad boy is a powerhouse. So to say that says a lot. I do not do as much on this iPad as I did on the iPad Pro. So that could be why, since that was my primary computer uh, at, at that moment, because I had the smart keyboard with it. And you can see that I don't have it with this iPad because I don't need it because I have my MacBook Pro. But it's fast. It's super quick. It's super user friendly. And honestly, I enjoy the interface all the way around. So I'm really, really glad that I chose to get this one instead of waiting on the new iPad Pro, which I mean, why spend all that money if you're not really going to use it for its purpose anyways? I literally do emails on here. I do uploads on here. I may do some designing, but nothing crazy you actually have the compatibility for this iPad to use the original Apple Pencil, which I have because I had it with my iPad Pro. Um, and I kept it because I knew I'd want to use one and I was not trying to buy another one yet. Apple, I love you. So I will eventually, but not right now. Uh, but I use a pencil with Procreate a lot, which I really enjoy. And also my note taking applications and any designs that I do generally go through Procreate. So you can do um, hand lettering designs, which you can put on Etsy or or any website that you're wanting to either sell or just uh, give for free as far as SVG files, things of that nature. But I really enjoy that. I have really become accustomed to the new feature that came installed with. Uh, Catalina on Mac OS. So it's called Sidecar and I love it. I literally can use my iPad as a secondary display for my MacBook and my trackpad controls everything. So it is really, really convenient to when I'm really working, really multitasking, truly having to get a lot of stuff done in a small amount of time. Why go buy an external display when you can just use your iPad, right? And I do believe I'm going to do a whole video on Sidecar. So if you guys are interested in that, just let me know in the comments below. And then like this video if you've liked it thus far. Subscribe as always if you're new here or you're just digging my flow. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Subscribe below. Hit the little bell for notifications letting you know when I am uploading as well. But uh, back to the task at hand. So sidecar is it. It is super, super convenient. So I'm really, really enjoying that. Um, I use this not really for social media. I do like the display for uh, watching my shows. You know, Apple TV subscription. You buy a new Apple product, you get it for a year. When, when? I was going to get it anyways right so there you are there you have it but i will say i never watched any shows or anything on my macbook pro i did like a week ago oh my gosh that display is amazing it's amazing but i'm not gonna do i'm not i might do a video on it because i think y'all like to see that as well but you know i'm pro apple if you've seen my videos you know apple you have my heart I love you. I'm all invested. Completely invested. But check this iPad out. Man, it is packed full of premium features. It is at a good price point. So, I mean, this is like the iPad to beat. This is a super tablet, basically. So, I, you know, I don't see a, a downside in it whatsoever. The computing component is fantastic. The ability to use Sidecar, which is the screen um, sharing, right, where you have multiple displays, and also the compatibility with Apple Pencil. It is awesome. I hope you guys go check this out. Even go play, play with it in the store. See what you think about it before you decide to make that purchase. But this device would be perfect for multiple people. It would be perfect for a precursor to your child getting a computer, right? If they need it for school or they use it for things like that. You can do it with Wi-Fi, you can do it with cellular, both. You know, you have that compatibility which is amazing so you can take it with you on road trips if need be and you have business and you're not wanting to bring your computer. It's really, really convenient. So I hope that you guys check it out. Again, if you like this video, 
give me those thumbs up. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video here soon. And I really appreciate your time. Alright guys. Peace.